Meet Ethical Crack. My ultimate Iron Man is taking the game mode just a step further. Not only can I not use a bank, but I can't use any method of storage outside of my inventory. That means no looting bag, no death storage, no death piles, no stash units, and no player-owned house storage. To achieve my goals in this game mode, I will need to think and play very differently. Hello wonderful people, it is great to have you here. In the last episode, we ventured to the tombs of a mascot and acquired the rune pouch upgrade. Yeah, we also got a purple, but that wasn't important. This episode, however, we're aiming to finish the last two quests we need to set up for Guardians of the Rift. Starting with Morning Zen Part 2 to craft death runes, uh, that one's going to be fun, and Sins of the Father, one of my personal favourite quests to craft blood runes at Guardians of the Rift. And away we go! We join our hero, having just got the thread of Elidnus from the tombs of a mascot, and to put it on the rune pouch we need 75 crafting, so we're gonna need super glass make and that requires 77 mage, so we're using up some runes that we got from the tombs of a mascot, and then we're gonna go on various mage trading escapades, including what's coming next, which is a barrows run, because we've got runes and they recently put a mini quest in, so it's worth doing one KC before we go fight some bosses to have some extra prayer. Okay, get Karist. Oh, so close. One more. Oh, please, don't drain my prayer again. Yeah, one down. Ooh, and Guthan down. Defense? Gross. I don't know what that is, but nice. One point. Oh, and Torag down, who even needs prayer. Just tanked it. Cast a cheeky, cheeky snare. <laughs> our spec is all back. Let's go and spec our um. Oh, that wasn't too bad. This one we definitely don't want to tank. Green D hide ain't gonna cut it. We spawn a Darok. That's not a Darok. That's not a Darok. That's not a Darok. Neither's that. One more time each. There he is. And the final brother goes down. Let's get 100% reward potential so we can get a big old dragon med helm and collection log slots with the bolt racks. All right, let's loot that chest. 100% reward potential. It's gonna be fucking amazing. Wow. Oh, there he is. Do you just do you just give us the prayer now, or is there? Oh, lamp. 20k prayer. Oh, hell yes. 53 prayer. So, to train our last basically seven levels of magic that we need to do our super glass make crafting, we're going to do some Slayer. And to do Slayer, we're going to do it with Mage, of course. And during the Mage, we're going to be high elking. So, I'm going to just stockpile a shitload of runes. I'm going to do some LMS, stockpile a shit a ton of arrows and then we're gonna start maging slayer tasks and elking in between attacks hey they all oh, we won yes the winning we could buy like a shitload of oh I have to convert oh my god the clicks I'm more shaky after that uh, rune arrows confirm four 1200 rune, ar rune arrows. Let's go get as many nature runes as we can afford. Oh, I've just looked at my mage level and I can cast current teleport. So let's get uh, 200 soul runes and 400 water runes and 500 fire runes and put one of these in the house because that is a sick teleport. Direct that one to current castle. Gorgeous. Ah, that's so nice. Well, there it is, 70 magic. All right, let's see what sort of XP per hour we're gonna get here. I imagine it's gonna be quite a lot. Look at those gains. 
while our death runes lasted we were getting 120k mage xp an hour look at that unfortunately they are just about to run out so we don't bonk that thank you need to swap to the chaos now oh my god that's so nice yes please 54 slayer uh, <laughs> I just got my weekly crying in for <laughs> fishing. <laughs> that was weird. I don't think I'm going to do that one again. All right, I'm back to mage training. <laughs> I have been elking while I quest for my magic XP. There's Ascent of Arceus done. And the clock tower. Here we are at the penguin agility course, the best way to get the agility pet, but that's not true. The best way to get the agility pet is to do the Falador rooftop course and get it. That's what I did. You know what? This part's actually really cool. Look at him go. Wow. There is cold war completed. We are also 64 agility, but out of elks completely. So we're going to head back, spend another 300k on nature runes, go get another thousand or so rune arrows from LMS and continue our questing with more elks. The bots are gone. There's none of them. That made those 12 points much harder to get. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, that is my very first attempt. Oh my god, look at him. Hell yes. I'm not tabling items on this account, but I am good with dropping them. So we're about to drop all our Entrana unavailable items here. Try dash to the high priest and chant the pot and get back before they despawn real quick. Let's see if we can manage it. Well, that was incredibly fast. That's not going to be a problem at all. They're probably not even going to appear to other players. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> there it is, another big quest out of the way, Desert Treasure. For 20,000 mage XP, which is the reason I decided to do it now. Not that we're going to use any ancients anytime soon. Or maybe we could just spend all our money in Ice Burst stuff. But we don't have Dust Devils, so probably not worth it. We didn't really have any trouble anywhere in the quest, it was all pretty chill. Easy one to do with the stats we have at the moment. And Watchtower completed, because it's got a juicy magic XP reward of 15,000. And here it is. 77 magic, that's the level we need for Super Glass Make. We're going to clear out our inventory by finishing El King of Nature runes and getting rid of some stuff. And then we're going to go get 75 crafting. Here we are at some charter ships. We still have our dragon harpoon, haven't had a main to drop it off to just yet, but we will soon. So we buy those. We hop worlds. We super glass make. I forgot to get a very important thing for this. One of those. And then we make our lantern lenses. Yeah. And once the inventory is done, we trade, sell, buy, buy, and hop worlds again. 62 crafting, that's the first level of the grind. We're sustaining just over 70k an hour. That's pretty chill. We're going to be hopefully keeping that rate up right until 75 crafting. There it is, 75 crafting. I can make a divine rune pouch. Seeing as I have plenty of astral runes left, we're going to do one more level. So that when I come back and make it glory, I will only need a plus four boost for it. And that will be much more chill. And that, I think, will be the end of our crafting. With this set of molten glass, we have achieved level 76. That means we can plus four boost for a glory when we come back, which will be really nice. I think that'll be it. We're going to hold on to these astral runes because we're going to use them for NPC contact if we need to re be repairing our pouches mid games and guardians of the rift. Though I may drop them and just use pearls to repair. I haven't completely decided yet. One needle. Thank you very much. Ah, nope. Ah, ah, how do you do this? Use. Beautiful. We now have our divine rune pouch. That feels awesome to have, but it will not be our only one. 
there will be a point after Guardians of the Rift after I've used all my runes and done some other stuff where this will be being destroyed as there are some things that need a completely empty inventory and some things like Barbarian Assault where you just can't bring runes in. Gross. Underground pass completed. That quest was real chill. We have decided to side with Reggie. And most importantly, we can now take charter ships to Port Tyrus so we can access the Elven lands with ease. Shields are for wimps, that's true. We've done roving elves and we've got the crystal bow. The only reason for that is we're going to go do the diary task while we're here. And oh my god, I can't equip it. What? <laughs> never, never mind. Never mind. Maybe, maybe we won't be doing that. So after talking with the friends in the Discord, I think this is going to have to be a uh, training at sand crabs because I was planning to- wow that texture looks terrible. I was planning to do the diary with this and if I want to get this back, it is ludicrously expensive. So to save money, it would better be- it would be better to do some range training um, semi now-ish. We've got some more questing to do, but before we get rid of it, we will definitely use it. We did some sheep murder. Sorry, sorry, herder. Yes. For Morning's End Part 1, we need a magic log. And rather than doing any of the sort of roundabout weird methods to get it, I'm just going to buy a rune axe, do some wood cutting, and cut one. It's really late and I just got 70 wood cutting, which is what I can boost a magic for with a spicy stew if I decide to do that. Wow, I can make a leprechaun tarm. And it, as I said, it's really late, so I'm going to go to bed. Bye. 70 ranged. That level is huge, because we can now equip our crystal bow. Yeah. And we can also use black dehyde. Sometime after the Guardians of the Rift, we will definitely be getting black dehyde and using that for our big old Slayer journey. What skill do you think we will be crying about this week? That's right, it's smithing. Oh, and the bone crossbow bore is going down. Any luck? Wow, cosmic runes, amazing. Oh, goddamn, a Celestra seed. Uh, we've been back on the birdhouse runs for a bit. Uh, we need some farming levels in our future, and this is a great way to get tree seeds, and the hunter XP is super free. It's all good stuff. That, however, is uh, significantly too high level. Oh my god, it's valuable. Sad. Goodbye. Oh shit, I haven't done rat catches and my cat just grew into an overgrown cat before we used it to get spice. I should have picked it up once it grew to full. Well, I'm picking you up now and you're getting turned into death runes. I guess we would do stuff for another three hours while we grow another cat. Whoops. Our cat's all grown up and now we pick it up so it doesn't turn into an overgrown cat. We'll do one more level then we'll go do our stew boost. Alright, there we go, we got our wood cutting done. Let's just quickly cut these, except for four, we'll use the other ones for a birdhouse run, and we'll go stew boost to see if we can cut a magic. I need a plus three boost, and if I use two doses of brown spice per stew, the chance of getting my plus three boost is one in seven, so I would need to get 14 doses of spice to hit drop rate for that. If I'm using three doses of spice per stew, the chance to get the boost I need is 3 out of 11. And 3 out of 11 is slightly over 1 in 4. So I would need 4 times 3, which is 12 doses. That's 2 less doses. So I'm going to be spicy stewing for plus or minus 5, because it's going to require, on average, 2 less doses of spice to get the boost. There are woodcutting guild on a forestry world to get their max buff from extra people chopping a tree. Go! Uh, negative two. Okay, I'll be back with the buff. And there's the boost. Cross those fingers, give us one log, please. Ah, too easy. We got it. All right, that's the hard bit done for what we need for Morning's End Part 1. Let's see what other things we need. There we go. Elite, oh, hard task in the Western provinces. Wonderful, that was all we needed the crystal bow for. We will probably be getting rid of it real soon. And we're up to the stage of poisoning the food, which is wonderful. Uh, not because not of the poisoning. Uh, it means we can finally drop these 
barrel of naphtha that was 32 kilograms in the inventory. That thing's been slowing us down and draining our run for so long, and now we are free. It is 11.59, that is morning's end. That should be a thieving level too. I'm not sure if it's one thieving level or two. We were 61 and now we're 63. 23 falls so far on the handholds. We are out of food. If I don't get it on this one, we're going to have to send a tally and get some more supplies. Don't make it 24. Come on. Thank you for being a friend. Wall supports. All right, we're gone. We're across 27 attempts. Well, 27 falls. That's all it took. Really not too bad. I'm happy with that. This death talisman list is going to take three trips, which is yeah, pretty good. We've got our inventory down to a really nice small amount of stuff. The only stuff we're keeping, of course, is our... Why did they not take? Our rune pouch, our monies, our prayer pots, our teleport bat to Letia, the quest stuff, my papaya seeds, because I am one level away from planting them, and my cape. We have really trimmed the fat down, and we're going to need to get all our fat back for the next quest. Hello, dwarf friend. Your delivery has arrived. Delivery dos. I don't, I don't want to smell. I want this. Oh, don't drop it. Hold on. Hold on. I can do this. I can do this. There it is. There is the final item. There's 50. Let's go give them to the dwarf. Here you go, dude. All of the stuff. All of the stuff. We have a death talisman. In we go. We use this thing on the altar, and that's the harbor done. 60,000 agility XP, yes. Morning's End Part 2. Ah, that's wonderful. And now I can craft death runes in Guardians of the Rift. I don't have the level 2 yet, but when I get the level, I'll be able to. Mm, that's some good hope. I may have overprepared for that fight just a tad. I used one dose of prayer potion and three carb ones. Uh, oops. But now we get like 7,000 Herblor XP, which is nice. And I believe that is all the requirements for Sins of the Father. Let's go do it. And it looks like we're good. Yeah, we managed to kill this boss with the just leftover supplies from Taste of Hope. Did not need to get anything for it. That's wonderful. All right, we're up to the boss fight in Sins of the Father. Uh, there's no way we can kill it, obviously, but I just want to go and remind myself. <coughs> Vampires, man, they get in your nose. Okay, I want to go in and remind myself of this, how it feels to be in the boss, see how much damage I take and proselyte, and then teleport out and go set up. All right, we messed up a mechanic, but that's why we were there to practice. That seems like it'll be doable. Let's clear out this inventory and set up for a fight. Oh, there was 81 strength at our equivalent of sand crabs that gives us sharks and prayer XP. We're really just looking for grubby keys to get some sharks for the fight. And we it's nice because we get other supplies as well and I can super AFK here on this tile. We've ditched our astral runes. We've swapped the proselyte out for a red dehyde body that I crafted. We're gonna put a bone crossbow up here. We're gonna fill the rest of the inventory with current ones, but right now I'm just making some garden pies so I can plant these papayas and get them out of the inventory. We're really slimmed down, and I think we've got a pretty damn good chance, as long as I don't play like trash. All right, we are looking excellent. We are all sorted and ready to go. Let's pot up and let's send it. What? I definitely got that in time. Gross. Oh, please don't tell me I'm not on an Australian world. Oh my god, I'm fucking on the other side of the world. What a waste of supplies. I don't think that was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No, we will call it there. <laughs> oh, baguette. Ha. Ah. Oh, 55 prayer. We can now use spirit shields. Cool. 
and get preserve. Oh god damn, that had the perfect supplies in it. It had two sets of sharks and a super set. And I've got a super restored. Things are looking good. One thing I will be changing, however, is that I didn't tank any mage yet, so I'm just going to put on monk's robes. We are back on our home world. We have a sick inventory, and this time we're in monk's robes because I saw a, <laughs> a, a large lack of zeros hitting me on the last fight with my proselyte and dehyde. So I think this is a nice medium of not being super negative, but still having shitloads of prayer bonus. And I went to the wrong place. It's going really well and we're getting towards the last phase, so let's repot. This thing hit him for like a 40 last time, are we going to be so lucky? 31, that's pretty good. Alright, get full prayer before last phase. Things are looking good. We haven't been hit yet. And we're not going to be hit now. Just got to survive that damage. Some big hits, please. Oh, no. Nah. Damn, that was really close. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to go pick up our stuff again and figure out what we're going to change to get better and beat it. Maybe we just go again. That was really good. We were really close last time, so we're just going to run it back with full current bond, see if RNG can help us get through it. However, we can't die because I can't afford the reclaim fee. So this time go for a go for a tally rather than attempt a redemption on five. Not this time. A combination of bad play and bad RNG, I think. Hey, Editing Crack here. Uh, I found this absolutely fascinating to watch back. Uh, did you hear that? I just blamed RNG. Now this fight is long. Like, I do a lot of attacks in that. And, you know, regression to the mean. Over time, I expect to do my average damage, and I know that. But I don't think RNG is a big player in this at all. What matters is your setup, your strategy, and your execution. Your setup being like what stats and gear you bring in, your strategy, like when I am attacking, if I'm prayer flicking, when do I eat, that sort of thing, and execution being not making any mistakes. Those three are way more important. And because I started blaming RNG, I started focusing R RNG on something that I couldn't control and was less important. And because of that, the things I could control that are more important, like my setup, I didn't focus on it. So I brought in a worse setup and no wonder I messed it up. That's like the definition of tilt. I had no idea this was going on at the time, but I am actually mega tilted here. Okay, I'll go back to the actual clips now. I just found this fascinating to watch back. Enjoy. Oh no. Oh no, I went to eat just as the stare into darkness was coming and I was trying to react to it. Gotta remember to turn away before I eat. And I can't afford to get my stuff back. I need to go make some monies. Oh, look at that maths. Unlock. <laughs> uh, well, I should pr I should probably go make some money before I come back here again. I don't have to do that again. Uh, we did some RD nights to pay for that. Attempt uh, four, I think. Something I figured out. Yeah, I don't need this to get there. That is just an absolute wasted inventory spot. We get an extra current one. All right, let's do this. Potting up in the absolute clown suit. <laughs> now, team six, here we go. Had a little bit of a freak out there with that blood veld. But things look okay. Come on. Just hit him. Almost there. Not the time for zeros, please. Two good hits could be it. Come on, one more big hit. Hit a max. Come 
Come on, no. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. There's the level we were waiting on, and once again, we didn't get a chat thing. We got 85 strength, and we are all set up to head into the boss fight again. This time, we've got it for sure. Oh, don't say that. Why'd you have to say that? Fuck. Shit. Damn it. Seven failed attempts, but we can get this. We are so close. We head back to the red sand crabs, we get some more supplies, and we come back. We return to the baby red dragons to get grubby keys, and an upgrade just fell into our lap. Uh, we opened a grubby chest, and we got a crystal key. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna go open that and upgrade to a glory. I was not planning to, I just happened to have access to a dragon stone. And we opened the chest for... Oh, I have to use the key on it. A dragon stone and a spinach roll. Huge. So I was playing on mobile last night and I got ridiculously spooned. In like five minutes I got two grubby cheese... Grubby cheese. <laughs> that dropped two sets of sour brews. So we have three sour brews going in, which 14 hit points apiece. Uh, that's like three buns per slot there. That's an insane amount of food. If we don't kill it this time, it'll be embarrassing. We also did a spicy stew boost and uh, got our glory with one attempt. I don't know, it was just off the hook. Alright, so if I don't manage to beat this fight, uh, I'm going to be pretty sad because I, I, I should definitely be killing this now. We don't want to be brewing in the final phase, we're going to look to brew very soon. We're going to face away each time, so as as we need to restore up, it's the perfect time to be brewing. All right, we'll do it now while we're away from the boss. Save some prayer. One dose, two dose, three doses. Can we phase them? One dose, two dose. That's enough brew. Restore up, prayer back on. Oh my God, that's dumb. Why'd I do that? Trigger fingers getting itchy. We've got to use our last brew dose. No, 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 no. No! Oh my god, I wasted my brews. No. Oh, that's... That's embarrassing. 75 attack, big level. If I keep dying at quest bosses, I'll keep making combat gains. Another update coming in from the baby red dragons. Uh, I thought that was going to be left click berry, even though I've buried like heaps of them. There's 60 prayer. We can now... Oh, I thought I'd done that. Um, I guess I'm going to go do that. <laughs> Alright, King's Ransom done for... Awesome defense rewards. Nice, we got a level. All right, let's head upstairs and knock out some knights. Okay, it's very late. We're done for the day, but we just got that done. But look at this thing. Yeah, go me. We get more incremental upgrades. All right, I need to go repair my setup and get sorted. But first, I'm gonna bet. Good night. Last time we were going in with a 15% strength prayer, this time we're going in with 18% strength. Attempt, is it 8 or 9? It's one of the two. After 10 failed attempts, I think it's time to change something. And the thing I'm going to change is I'm gonna get good. I'm gonna do more prayer flicking and I'm gonna take off the monk's robes for more red dehyde. See if we can get it there. If I'm failing to get it there, we're gonna go find ourselves some black dehyde and try with that. That's the current plan. Yay. Okay, more prayer flicky, slightly less food, but we've got brews. We've got red dehyde chaps. Take 11? Not this time. Editing crack here again. Yeah, this is the moment here where I finally realized I've been tilting and I did the thing I should have done like 
almost a week ago and just took a bloody break. I went and I did some hard clues basically. I killed some hellhounds, AFK'd them, I did some clues. And when I come back, as you know, you just reset the brain. So here's my break clips, which were, oh my god, badly needed. Juggled a hard clue, and we have the casket with a doable step left over too. But let's see if we can get some black or blessed dehyde. That would be huge. Show me the money. Oh my god, that's like all collection log slots, and look at those defenses. Nice, no, magic plus five. 55 Slayer, that's the level for like broad bolts and stuff. Another hard clue, and what do we get? Oh, <laughs> full black dehyde, yes! Nice page too. We're on a bit of a side mission at the moment. We just did the, yes, I want to smash my vials. We just did the bar crawl because we need to Put this page in a book. I would very much like to keep it and be able to pick up the mage book at some time. Okay, there we go. That one's done, so we can go chuck this. Let's go find that book, and we can put the page in the book. Okay, from our little Slayer excursion, we got two keys. Do we get good stuff that we can use and will be useful? No. No! Well, I talked shit about the lobsters before, but I got two cooking levels from this, so that's you know, pretty good. 48 cooking. Make cheese! We got another hard casket. Go us. Uh, I really hope I get 60k worth of elks from this one, because I had to buy a fucking lunar staff for it. I don't really need anything. I guess ancient, or not ancient, god dehydes would be upgrades, but eh. Wow, that's not 60k of elks. Fuck. With a much needed break over, back to our regularly scheduled content. That was like 13 attempts. Oh, that's that's so big. That's actually an enormous step for this account. That is awesome. I am stoked. Holy, what an episode. We had gains, we had struggles, we overcame them, we made some enormous milestones ready for Guardians of the Rift. Because you made it to the end, I want to say just thank you for all the support. The last episode blew up insanely, and if this one did too, well, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, from now until the next video, have a wonderful time, and I hope to see you soonish.